Give me your hands now. You better show them to me now. Tonight, less than 24 hours after a double murder in Dover, Angel Kuschok, the man investigators say confessed to killing a mother and her daughter, is now behind bars. These are the moments when he walked into jail just hours ago after deputies tracked him down between I-4 and Glen Harwell Road, less than two miles from the devastating scene at a mobile home on Sumner Road. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. Today, the sheriff's office released the identity of the mother, Amalia Kokjuk-Depec, and her four-year-old daughter, Estrella. This is a photo of the two of them right there. Just 24 hours ago, the sheriff promised that they would find the suspect. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio spoke to one expert who explains how they tracked him down. Put your hand behind your back. It was the moment. Put your hand behind your back. Deputies waited for it. This man in the black tank dragged from the woods after a search that lasted through the night. They were determined and they never gave up. Deputies say they found Angel Kuzchok less than two miles from where they say he murdered his partner, Amalia Kokchok Depec, and her daughter, Estrella. She was just four. He runs into a heavily wooded and dense area with a lot of overgrown vegetation. Sheriff Chad Cronister says Kuzchok tried to outrun them after a detective spotted him through binoculars. Where he was could prove to be difficult. I can't get to you. You can't see maybe six inches of foot into it. Uh, that's a dangerous, dangerous individual. Nico Toscani is the president of We Are the Essentials, a local group of veterans and former law enforcement members, including FBI agents. They help find missing loved ones. A lot of people don't understand the, uh, the difficult and the dangers of searching for people in the woods, even if it's somebody that uh, has dementia. Despite the heavy vegetation masking Kuzchok, he could not outrun the scent a canine picked up. The boy. Chronister says they found a bloody shirt of his last night. The search for Kuzchok didn't happen until almost three hours after the murders. He's got the tactical advantage. But Toscani says their plan, consisting of setting up the perimeter and using different technology like infrared imaging to spot people work to their advantage. We have sheriffs that are willing to go 100% and let their guys, their teams do what they need to do to get a really dangerous person off the street. In Dover, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Whose dog faces two counts of murder. The sheriff says he was in the country unlawfully and that a child's father is still in Guatemala. This investigation into this case is still ongoing tonight. We will stay on top of any updates that we're able to get, and you'll get all of that on air and online at 10tampabay.com.